check out BigBadToyStore.com for this and other great toys. Now, this guy looks like a wrecker. Now, let me get out of here before he wrecks me. Yeah. Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Generations Voyager Class Springer. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So there it is, a very cool picture of Springer looking all wreckery. The Thrilling 30! Yay! Uh, yes, he's an Autobot. Back here you have your obligatory product shots, you got your tech specs, you have the Rotor Blades Become Sword, two launching missiles, triple changer, robot, big armor car, and all that good stuff. And here you have your bio, if you want to read it. And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have Springer. Finally, Hasbro gave us a triple changing Springer. Yay! <laughs> I'm sorry, I was tired of always getting, you know, helicopter springers, okay? He had two modes! And they kept denying him his car mode, and I'm glad they finally gave it back to him. So here is Springer in his armored car mode, and it looks really cool. I do like the look of this thing. It's very, um, it's interesting. It's interesting in a way that I really dig. Um, got some nice details going on here. Very cool. Really liking the way this came out. Really do. Just nice all around. Got some nice molded in details as well as some uh, silver paint apps going on here. As well as a little bit here. Got some silver here on that front grill. Got a nice Autobot symbol right there. Got some nice transclearant windshields going on. And yes, me likes. Me likes very very much and of course he can roll like rolling things should and um yeah very cool for comparison here he is with beast hunters murder bee so you can see how he stacks up there with a uh, a recent mainline deluxe um i know there are better figures to compare this with but unfortunately they're all still packed away and i can't get to them right now so <laughs> i'm working with what i got so yeah very cool he does come with accessories he does come with his sword which again very cool nicely done again me likes me likes now storage for the sword is basically you come under here and you lift up these bits right here, which will be his knee spikes in robot mode. And you'll see here, I don't know if you can see it, but there are these tabs right here that will go into these little slots right here on either side of the sword. On mine, it's a little precarious. It doesn't really tab in the way it should, but you can kind of finagle it and finesse it in there, and you can just kind of get it in the place the way it should be and basically there is your sword storage and it drags a little bit which means I probably have it all wrong but hey it's all right <laughs> it's not all right it's not all right I know I'm sorry it's okay but that's basically your sword storage in vehicle mode and he also comes with his gun it's a double-barreled blaster of murder or justice, whichever you prefer. And again, nice mold, some good detail going on there. You got some nice silver paint apps going on there. And it is a double missile launcher. And what's cool is when you push this plunger forward, it's basically a, a friction missiles. And when you push it forward a little bit, it'll fire that one missile. And when you push it forward the rest of the way, it'll fire the second one. That's a neat little feature. Instead of just firing them both at the same time, it'll fire them one at a time, which I like. And that one doesn't like to fire as well. Come on! Eh. Whatever. They're friction missiles. What do you expect? <laughs> That's what happens when you don't have springs. As you can see here, 
the handle is actually on a hinge. You're just going to take it and plug it into that port right here on the roof. There you go. Now you can have it rotating and angle it up as you please. So, there you have all your weapon storage. So, now you've seen him in his car mode, so now let's get him to his helicopter mode. So you're going to just remove the weapons, put those aside for now, and you're going to start off by... I don't remember. <laughs> oh, okay, I know, I know. I know, I know, I got this, I got this. You're going to take these back panels here, you're going to take them, you're going to swing them out, and meanwhile you're going to swing these fins out also. Let's go over here, take this, swing that back, swing this around, get it out of the way. You're going to bring them out until they click into place, like that. And tad the legs back together. Come on, man. Work with me here, Springer. There you go. So you're basically just going to have those legs tap together like that. You bring those fins back out. Once you do that, you're going to take these side panels here, or this whole side section here, you're going to take it, bring it out like that. Once you get that done, you're going to take this panel right here, you're going to bring this out, which can be a little hard to do. Go. On. There you go. You're going to bring this panel out and swing it around over that wheel. Once you do that, you're going to take this section here and you're going to bring this up. And there's a tab right here, a little tab into the slot right there. So you're just going to fold that in, tab that in. Once you get that done, you're going to take this whole assembly and you want to make sure that this tab is tabbed into this slot right here. It just keeps everything locked in all nice and secure like. And you want to take this section, just bring it all the way back. Like that. Second verse, same as the first. Come here. Pull this section out, which again can be a bit of a pain. Swing that around. Again, make sure this is tabbed in. Like that. Bring that up. Bring that up, tab that in. Oh, and you're going to take these windshield sections too and just fold them in like that. Fold them down. Like that. Then bring this section. Oh. See, came undone. Got to make sure that's tabbed in properly. There you go. You got to take that and bring it down like that. I'm going to bring the camera up here. So once you have that going on, you're going to take this whole roof section here, you're going to take it, bring it up, and shift it forward, and it will tab into this slot right here. Take that, tab that in, and at this point now, you're going to angle up the legs, and you'll see there are tabs right here, and they're going to tab into these slots right here in the legs. So you're just going to angle it up, like that, until you can get that tabbed in, like so. And then you can just bring these sections down like one click basically to get that oriented properly and once you do that you take your sword and this is a neat little piece of engineering it's, it's simple but it's clever you take the sword and you split it you bring the two halves out and you take this green section here and you bring it up and now you have a rotating propeller blade and the cool thing is, is when you're transforming it back into sword mode, you're going to, you see here, there's a slot right here, and it'll go over these tabs that are all around the, uh, the hilt here. And when you bring that down and tab that in there, it totally locks this. It no longer spins freely. Again, it's simple, but it's clever. So just bring that up, and now you have your rotating propellers. You just take it, plug it in like so and there you have Springer in his helicopter mode Woo! and again very cool it it looks it, it looks awesome I mean it's it's not a drastic transformation but it works it really does work and he does have a landing gear in here just come down here you pull that landing gear out and on these uh, pieces right here you can bring these down 
and they have uh, molded in landing gears. These don't roll. So you can just have them sitting there. Woo! Very cool. Just very, very cool. Just really digging it. And of course, you can take the gun, and there is still storage for this gun. You flip up the landing gear, and you're going to take the gun, and basically, you're just going to slide this section right here, right under this section right here. You can see there's a little bit of a track right there. And you're just going to try, it's a little precarious, but it's doable. Let's try to get it into that track. And once you do that, there you have it. There you have your storage in helicopter mode. And it also serves as a, as a landing gear, you know, it keeps it, it keeps it sitting level, so it still works. Again, very cool. Now for comparison in uh, helicopter mode, here he is with Voyager Skyquake. As you can see how he stacks up here, let me just take this off just to, so you can get a better look here. Yeah, you can see how he matches up against a, uh, a recent Voyager. So, there you have that. But yeah, very cool. I mean, you know, it just, it works. It really, it just works. Now I can't get this back on. There you go. But yeah, awesome, awesome design. Just really clever engineering going on here. Really, really digging it. Just, I love it. I love it. Too cool. So, now let's get down to robot mode. So again, remove the weapons. Remove the... Come on. Cut. This plugs in very securely, too. <laughs> and again, you're just going to take this green section here, bring it down over one of those tabs, and again, that just locks that into place. Then you bring this up, and you'll see there's a little post, like a focus on it, there's a little post right there, a little port right there, and these little teeth will interlock. And you got it back in sword mode. Put that off to the side. And now let's get this bad boy into robot mode. So you're just going to take this section here, flip it up. Take this, bring it up, and get it out of the way. Just leave it like that for now. Come here, flip these up, split the legs. You can see just for the sake of transformation, the legs actually do bend inward a bit. That They bend inward, that way you can uh, tab those legs together. You're just going to straighten them out like that. Got to bring his foot up. Bring that heel spur back, bring the foot up, bring the heel spur back, and again you got some more silver detailing going on here. So you basically got his legs all done. Now, my camera will stay still, you're going to take these sections here, take them, bring them up, for now. Just to get the arms ready, just going to take the section here, untab it, bring it down, and now you want to bring this up against the forearm like that. You're going to open up this panel here, bring down the fist, close that back up, and there you have an arm. And now you can untab the arm right there. Second verse, same as the first. Just take this, untab it, bring it down, fold it together, and it will tab into place because there is a, uh, a tab right here. It'll tab into the slot right there. Take that, tab it into place. Open that up. Flip out the fist. Now you're going to take the landing gear. You're going to bring that out because you need it for clearance. Now you're going to bring up Springer's head and make sure everything clears. And you're going to take that section, bring it down like that. And now you're going to take these tabs and tab them into these slots right here in the sides of that chest piece. And that'll lock all that into place. Like that. And again, make sure you untab that arm. There you have that. Then you take this backpack here, bring it up. Straighten them all out. Do I have his heel spurs out? Yes, I do. <laughs> I had to make sure. And there you have. Oh, wait. One other 
an optional piece of transformation. Now you can leave these sections right here down if you want, if you like that look. But you can also take them and pull them out like that. Pull them up and angle them out so you totally get the Nick Roche Last Stand of the Wreckers vibe going on. And that's what basically, basically that's what this figure is based off of. It's based off of the Nick Roche Last Stand of the Wreckers design. And it looks great. And again, if you haven't read Last Stand of the Wreckers, read it! It's a great book, read it. But once you do that, you now have Springer in his robot mode. And this figure is freaking cool! I mean, it's so cool. Really loving this figure. As you can see, the light piping is crazy on this guy. Look at that. Those eyes, they just glow. And getting closer on the head sculpt. And again, just total last stand of the Wrecker Springer design going on there. This very cool figure and just very well done. You got some more silver paint apps going on in here. And the design and the mold is just really Really cool, and you can angle these knee spikes however you want. Totally up to you. But yeah, a great, great design. I, I'm in love with this figure. I think it's really, really cool. And of course, he can hold his weapons. Give him this blaster here. Give him the sword, and he's ready to wreck and rule, as a wrecker should. This really, really cool figure. And of course, if you, you know, don't want him holding a sword, you just still have this port right here. You can just take it, plug the sword in there. You can take the gun, plug it in back there. So you do have storage for the weapons if you don't want him holding them. And the cool thing is, too, is that you can combine the weapons. You can basically take this post right here, plug it into this port underneath the gun, you basically have a giant killer bayonet of murder justice, which is pretty cool. And you can also plug it up top here, and even this piece here has a little notch cut out for it so the handle will fit right into it. So you can have it sitting that way if you want. Why not? Dare I say why not? You have the option. I love it. I love it when you have options. So, give him his weapons here. But yeah, really cool figure. Um, Articulation-wise, his head is... Is it on the ball joint? No. It's actually just on a hinge, it looks like. It can go up and down. It can rotate. There's no real side-to-side -side movement. Um, shoulders are on this hinge right here. They can do a full 360. They can go in and out. You do get... A swivel at the elbow, you do get a clickety clackety elbow joint, you do get a wrist swivel, you also get a waist joint, legs can go forward, they can go back, although they are hindered a bit by the backpack, um, you can go in and out, you do get a swivel at the thigh, nice clickety clackety knee joints, you get some movement here in the toes, so yeah, he's, he's He's pretty poseable, and these nice, these nice ratchet joints mean that he can pretty much hold any pose you want to put him in. This really cool figure, really, really digging this guy. Now for comparison, here he is next to Bumble Rage, or Murder Bee, whatever you want to call him, and it started raining really hard outside. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's... It's raining pretty hard. You might hear some thunder during during this last part of the review. Sorry. Mother Nature just decides to do what it wants. But here he is with Bumble Rage. You can see how he stacks up with a recent deluxe. And here he is with Skyquake. So you can see how he stacks up with a recent Voyager. And you can see he's actually a little bit taller at the head than Skyquake. Um, uh, plastic quality wise, I will say he feels good. He feels solid. I've, I've been transforming him back and forth and back and forth from mode to mode many, many times and haven't felt like anything is stressing or breaking or I haven't really felt scared to, to mess with this guy. So he feels good. He feels like a good, solid figure. Oh, and for one more comparison, here he is with Fans Projects, Warbots, Defender. 
So you can see how these two look next to each other. Now, at the time, this was a great figure. This was the only triple-changing Springer that we got, was from the third party. Um, now that we have this one, I'm going to say it, people. Hasbro won. Hasbro won this. They won this battle. This Springer, I think, is way better than Warbot Defender. I still like this one. Don't get me wrong. I still like Warbot Defender. But this one is just... It, it takes the cake. This it, it wins hands down. This figure is really just amazing. I love the design. All all the modes are completely successful as far as I'm concerned. You know, it just it pulls off all the modes just wonderfully. And I think it pulls off the modes so smoothly because of the fact that it's not that much of a stretch to go from a car to a helicopter. So that's probably why Springer gets away with it. So much better than Blitzwing. Um, but yeah, amazing figure. If you see him, pick him up. He is definitely well worth the money. He is an amazing figure. A very great addition to your collection. Love it, love it, love it. Hasbro won this war. They beat the third party. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> they beat fans projects. And I didn't think I would ever say that. But they, they, they won this war. So... I think that's it, so remember to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Generations Voyager Class Springer, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face! Want to know what I did in the last five hours? I defeated a Decepticon Armada. My name is Gary. I overthrew a warlord. I had a burrito in that compartment. I made the skies a little safer. I beat Shockwave in a battle of wits. Rock, paper, scissors, match! Ha! Huh. Paper covers rock! Yeah? Well, Blaster beats face. Alright, alright, you win! It's cool, it's cool! Wanna know how I did all that? With 5-Hour Energon. That's right, 5-Hour Energon gives me the energy I need to get through the day. That's 5-Hour Energon, because you've got better things to do tonight than die.